Why take a GEC exam? They give you certs. Like these. GEC exams are open book, but they're long. And they sometimes cover over a thousand pages of material. One of the best strategies you can adopt is to make an index of your books. I do this in Excel. I create four columns labeled title, description, page number, and book. And then I take my notes as I'm going through the class or just as I'm going through books. Just any information that I think stands out or any information that I think I might need to reference in order to find other things. There might be things that I know, but still things that I want to be able to find so that I can find other things that might be related. I then save that out as a tab delimited uh, file and I pipe it through a Python program that I wrote that will take the notes and format them into a much more ergonomic index. The Python program will uh, sort them alphabetically and it will format them with HTML. So then you, you just run the Python program. It's open source and on my GitHub which is linked in the description below. And you, uh, you carry the output straight into an HTML file and you can open it with any standard browser. At that point you can control A to uh, select everything and then copy it and paste it in Word. Some of the formatting is accomplished through a style sheet that it builds in so you can modify the style sheet to change the formatting of the entire document very very simply and very easily. Mine is very simple because it's for study purposes so it didn't need to be complex and the simpler it is the better. Uh, I then typically format mine into two columns and uh, then I go through section by section and modify the, the little start letter for you know, A, B, C, and so forth so that uh, you can very easily determine where you're at in the index so that you can look things up for yourself very quickly. And what formatting you choose can be whatever, whatever you want it to be. The reason I format everything through HTML and then into Word is so that I could use Word spell check. Thanks, Microsoft, because you do spell better than I do. And uh, create a better index that way, give myself better control of the actual format of the document. And because if I were to fandangle with something like LaTeX, it would have taken me more time than it just took to change up a couple letters to get the alphabet in. And that's about it. The next step is to run down to Office Max and grab on to a set of alphabetical tab sheets. Then you order those according to your uh, document and hand it off to the folks at the, the bookbinding desk. They'll bind that sucker right up for you, hand it back, and about $13 later you have an index for potentially 1,000, potentially 3,000 pages of material. My GSE index was 260 pages long. That included the actual index as well as some notes that I had for myself and some sans check sheets, check yeah, uh, cheat sheets that I was you that I could reference during an exam. Um, I also had some information on Bro in my uh, additional notes because my GCI books are two years old and they don't contain anything about Bro in them at all, and I'm not exactly a uh, Bro, if you will. So. There's that. And that's about it. That's my process when it comes to studying for any of the GAC exams. It's worked out pretty darn well for me so far, and you're more than welcome to latch on. Uh, again, the, uh, the program is on my GitHub, and if you've got any trouble using it or any questions about it, feel free to ask. I, uh, I'm happy to help out. Anyway, happy hacking, folks. It's a survival trait.